my week 20 pregnancy update. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. I am now halfway through my pregnancy. 20 weeks, I mean, that's just crazy to think that my pregnancy is already half over. I think this is going by way too fast. I am definitely not ready for this baby and I think time should slow down. <laughs> Um, I am really excited to be 20 weeks, um, but again, like I'm so freaking out because half of my pregnancy is over and I only have half to go. I only have 20 more weeks, possibly less, possibly more, depending on this baby. So I'm just a little bit freaking out. But yes, 20 weeks. So this week, baby is the length of a banana or the size of a mango. Um, and I eat bananas. I think I eat at least one um, once a day. And so, yeah, I eat bananas all the time. And to think that baby is as long as a banana, crazy. Oh, that's so exciting. So being 20 weeks, um, baby is uh, continuing to develop. Um, the big thing this week, which is kind of gross, um, but the baby is starting to form its first poop. Yep. And um, it, um, it's called like merconium poop or something like that. It's like the first poop that it passes. Um, and so it's starting to form that and it's starting to like swallow and like starting to use um, its um, throat and things like that. So um, it keeps growing, it keeps getting bigger. I think it's at 10 ounces now um, is what it should be at. So growing and growing bigger and bigger. Um, so symptoms for this week, um, I'm still feeling really great. Second trimester rocks. I never want to leave it. Um, I don't have any headaches. Um, I don't have any uh, heartburn. Um, I have had to take Tums maybe like once a week, but that's about it. So heartburn's doing great. Maybe that means baby doesn't have much hair. I am not swelling too bad. Um, everything is still fine. I would say that the big symptom this week is my back. Um, I've noticed that my back hurts a lot more now. Um, when I'm sitting on the couch, um, I have to have a pillow prop behind my back because if I just sit regularly, my back will start to ache. And at work, I used to be fine too, but at my work, I usually sit a lot. It's a desk job. And so um, I've started to notice that at the end of the day, my back will really hurt. Uh, thankfully, I have an awesome husband who will um, give me massages whenever I um, ask him for them. So that's been really nice. But yeah, the biggest thing is my back. Um, acne isn't too bad at all this week. I'm still super thirsty. Um, I find myself wanting to drink all the time. Um, I'm always needing another drink. Um, I'm also always hungry now. I am always hungry and it's like it's funny because I'm always hungry and so then I'll go eat and I'll take like just a couple bites of, of anything and then I'll get full immediately. So it's really frustrating because I'm always hungry but then I get really full. But it's great to always be hungry because um, then that means I can gain weight. Um, I have weighed myself, I weigh myself every couple days and last time I weighed myself I, I was four pounds um, above my starting weight. So I started at 123 and I am now at 127. So woo, I am loving it. Bring on the pounds. My doctor said I should be gaining about a pound to um, a half a pound every week. So I'm just trying to pack on that weight. I just don't want to gain, you know, too little and have there be complications for the baby. I have noticed a couple days, um, sometimes I'll have like a lot of saliva in my mouth. The, I experienced this a little bit in the first um, trimester and it's come back again and it doesn't really, I don't really notice it unless I'm like talking or if I'm brushing my teeth in the morning. I have had some times where I've like gagged because I just have too much in my mouth. So that has not been fun. <laughs> um, another symptom that I've been dealing with is um, sleep. So I don't have any trouble falling asleep at night. I fall asleep almost right away. My big problem is um, staying asleep. Um, I have problems where I will wake up in the middle of the night. Sometimes it's because I have to pee. Sometimes it's the baby waking me up. And sometimes I just wake up for no reason. And then I, for the life of me, I cannot go back to sleep. 
Um, so I've had it where I've woken up at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. I can't go back to sleep and I just like end up staring at my ceiling or staring at my phone. I just don't have anything. Um, you know, I just can't go back to sleep and I get so bored. Um, this morning, um, Baby was the one who woke me up. Um, Baby was kicking me like crazy at 5 a.m. this morning, and so I have been up since 5 a.m. because I could not go back to sleep. I was like, Baby, are you serious? <laughs> so, um, yeah, another symptom I've been having is baby kicks, which has been a continuation. Um, but every day, every week, the kicks get stronger, and I love it. Um, baby is a little stubborn, so um, now that my belly's getting bigger, sometimes I like to just rest my phone on my belly and text on it and surf on it and stuff, and I was doing that one day, and baby kicked right where my phone was sitting, um, almost like, get that off of me, mom, you're annoying me, and then, um, I have a heart Doppler that my mom bought me a while ago, and so about once a week I'll get that out and listen to the baby's heart. And it's really hard to find the heartbeat nowadays because baby is moving like crazy, so I, it's very hard to find it and keep it. Um, but once I finally found it, as soon as I found it, baby kicked right where the heart monitor was. Like, get that away from you, you're annoying me. So this baby has its own little personality and it is so cute. Um, baby is also very stubborn. Um, I'll, I feel it all the time. Um, and it's just now getting strong enough to where I like, I can feel it on the outside. And so, you know, I'll feel it kicking a lot and I'll, you know, turn to Anthony and be like, oh my gosh, Anthony, the baby, come feel it. And he'll put his hand on my tummy and then nothing. The baby won't do anything. He can't feel it. So this baby is very stubborn, <laughs> does not want dad to feel it. Thankfully, Anthony has felt it quite a couple times. Um, just recently, he actually was having his hand on my stomach and he said he felt the whole baby move, um, which was really kind of creepy for him, um, but I feel all the time, so it doesn't really bother me anymore. Also, baby is kicking like crazy. It definitely gets stronger and more noticeable um, after I have eight or in the evenings um, when I... Um, I'm just sitting around and relaxing and I just love feeling it and it's crazy like where I feel the movements because half the time I'll feel it really low um, in my uterus and then sometimes I'll feel it really high like by my belly button so baby is going crazy in my tummy right now another symptom that I've been dealing with is I've been having like a really stuffy nose I sneeze all the time my nose is always itchy and um, I feel like I have like a, a cold constantly, like I constantly have to like blow my nose and so that's been really annoying to have to deal with. Not only am I hungry all the time, but I have been noticing that I've had to pee a lot more often. I would say I have to go like, well depending on how much I'm drinking, like once every other hour, I just have to pee all the time. So it's like either I'm hungry or I have to pee. <laughs> so that's been really annoying. Thankfully my energy has been up and so I really haven't been all that tired. Um, I've been able to stay up until really late at night. I haven't had to go to bed at like 10, 1030 like I used to in the first trimester. So I hope that's here to stay. I don't want to get tired again. Anthony and I have been doing um, some uh, work around the house. And so it's been really nice to have my energy up so that I can help him, you know, full out with everything that he needs. The big thing this week um, was the, I had my next doctor's appointment and it was the anatomy scan. I had to make the appointment in the middle of the day. It was the latest that they could get me in was like 1.30 in the afternoon, which was really kind of annoying, um, mostly because Anthony, there was no way he was going to be able to get off of work for that, um, which was okay because, again, we had that 3D, 4D scan, and so he's able to see it then. Um, but when my mom heard that Anthony wasn't able to come, she was like, you can't go to that on your own. So she drove all the way from where I grew up um, to Columbus to go with me to the ultrasound, and so that was really fun. Um, we actually went and um, bought some maternity clothes. Yes, I finally bought maternity clothes and I was finally starting to wear maternity clothes. In fact, I'm wearing some maternity jeans right now. I'll show you later when I'll show you my bump. Um, but they're very comfy. I like them a lot. But anyway, we, yeah, we went shopping, um, and then we went to the um, doc to my doctor's appointment. So I had to go to a different doctor's office. It was still like the same one, but it was just a different location. 
uh, because they had the fancy ultrasounds there. So we went. Um, and this doctor's office was really nice because they had a ton of free formula samples all over the office. So of course my mom and I were like taking advantage of it. And we like got a bag and stuffed it full of tons of free formula. I don't even know if it's going to last that long until the baby's born, but hey, free is free. So we were doing all of that. Um, and then they called me back and they went and did the ultrasound right away. And so um, they brought us into the room and had a really big um, screen TV so that m my mom and I could watch what the ultrasound tech was doing. And they had me lay on a bed. And um, I wasn't sure for this appointment if I needed to have a full bladder or an empty bladder. They never told me, but I read a lot of places that you're supposed to have it. It's like easier for the baby. Turns out I didn't need to have a full bladder, but I did anyway. Um, and so we were able to see baby. Um, we uh, The ultrasound tech took measurements of baby, the spine, the head, um, you know, the, the length of baby from crown to rump, um, the bones, the heart. We had to see if it had four chambers, um, the kidneys, uh, the stomach. I mean, she was going through everything and it was just fun just to see baby moving around in my tummy. Um, you know, just, it is so fun to see baby again, especially because that might be the last time I see baby on an ultrasound. I don't know if I'm going to get another one before I deliver. So that was so fun to see. I actually have pictures. Let me show you. So I have pictures um, that they gave me of baby. Um, some of them are a little hard to see, but my favorite picture I'll show you guys. They got a really great profile of baby. So let me show you right here. Like, look how cute that is. Obviously, I don't know if, if you guys can't see, but the head and then, you know, the eyes and the nose and the chin and that's the heart right there and then I believe that's a leg right there. So they got a great, like, side, you know, profile of the baby. I love, I look at this picture all the time. Um, and so there's just other things. It's really hard to see, but like, this is baby's hand. Um, this is like a view of baby's skull and like you can see the spine right here and the heart. This is the skull and the two eyes. Here's a picture of baby's foot. <laughs> um, and then just another side profile picture view of baby. So um, it was great that they were able to give me some more pictures. Of course those pictures weren't as great as the 40 pictures that I already have, but it was great. Um, still great to see them and a great memento to have. So she said um, from what she was looking at, baby was looking fine. Um, but of course my doctor would have to discuss it with me afterwards. So it was nice to hear that she was thinking that everything felt uh, The biggest thing was we were able to confirm the gender. So since my mom um, already knew the gender and she was there with me, um, I just closed my eyes and um, the ultrasound took a picture and then, you know, wrote in it's a boy or it's a girl on it. Um, and thankfully, whatever gender that the ultrasound tech found was the same gender that the 40 ultrasound tech found. So the gender is matched up it is what it is it is confirmed so um, no going back now my mom and I were joking like oh man what would happen if the second ultrasound tech found a different gender than the first one we would be in big trouble but thankfully they were both able to find it and it's good so um, I still don't know what uh, baby's gender is yet our gender reveal party is um, next week uh, when I'll be 21 weeks and we're gonna find out with all our family and friends. Again, Anthony and my mom are the only ones who know um, the gender of baby. My mom has been going crazy and has been getting party supplies and confetti cannons because that's what we're gonna do to announce baby's gender. Um, she's a little worried that the confetti cannons are gonna give off the wrong color, so I think she's getting a cake as well that'll have whatever the color is on the inside coincide with the gender. Um, but I'm so excited to know this baby's gender. I'm dying to know. Um, I just want to start picturing it. I want to be able to, um, you know, bond more with the baby. I have barely had any dreams about the baby. I think I've only had like two so far. Um, and so I want to have, you know, more dreams about the baby. Um, I still think it's a boy. 
everybody else I've talked to thinks it's a girl, although the other day I did get a text from my mother-in-law and then from my sister, and they both texted me that they had dreams, that I had a baby, and they both in both of their dreams the baby was a boy and so now I feel like people are starting to change their minds a little bit and going more towards boy so it'll be really fun at the gender reveal to see what everybody's dressed up as I really want to try and vlog some of that so I'm gonna try and get my camera out and record you know everybody's supposed to wear either blue or pink whatever they think the baby is so I'll try and get that so I can show you guys but I'm super excited for that but yes baby's gender is confirmed um, and so I can't wait to know what it is. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. I still think boy, but we'll see. Um, Anthony, and I, Anthony and I would be happy with either. So I just can't wait to know so I can just start, you know, buying cute little outfits and um, planning the nursery and doing my registry. Um, as like the two days after the gender reveal, we're gonna go and do our registry. So I'm so excited for that. Hopefully it won't be too stressful to pick you know, what to put on my registry. There's a lot of different options out there. But back to the ultrasound appointment. So she took all the pictures, took all the measurements. The craziest thing that, um, or the most interesting thing that happened during then is they actually, um, baby was measuring about a week to a week and a half um, further along than what I was. So I went in at 20 weeks and baby was measuring 21 to 22 weeks. So I'm just like, what does does that mean is baby gonna come early like I don't know um, according to the ultrasound my due date was like March 26th or March 28th and the 40 ultrasound it said the same thing like March 29th so now I'm really wondering am I gonna have an April baby am I gonna have a March baby I have no idea um, I talked to my doctor afterwards like um, are you gonna change my due date but I guess um, you know the baby it can get into some funky positions and that'll kind of skew the measurements and so they don't usually change um, due dates from the first one that they got so they're keeping it at April 4th um, it'll be a surprise to all of us only baby knows when baby is coming so after that was finished um, they um, also um, took measurements of my cervix which I did not know they were gonna do um, and so they had to insert a probe um, vaginally and just check to make sure that my cervix was not thinning or getting smaller it was not it's thick it's good um, and the funniest thing was as she's t taking measurements all of a sudden on the screen you can just see baby's head like in the corner like hey mom look at me like don't go away I want to be right here it was the cutest thing I was laughing so hard so everything was good there afterwards I went into another room and waited for my doctor um, and she came in and she actually told me that there is absolutely nothing showing up that is wrong with baby. Um, she told me that usually there's one or two things that, you know, that maybe even is cause for concern just to like get on your radar. But she said, looking at my scans and my picture, there is absolutely nothing wrong that she sees and nothing that I should be concerned with. I mean, how crazy is that? I was floored. I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I just felt so much better knowing that baby is 100% healthy. Um, you know, I was for sure that something was going to come up that was going to be wrong. Um, I know I'm young and healthy and things like that, but, you know, I had that scare with the whole cystic fibrosis thing, and so I was really nervous that uh, they were going to find something else on the scan. But no, baby is perfect and healthy and great so it was great um they also during the ultrasound scan they took a little blurb of baby's heartbeat and baby's heartbeat was i believe at 148 so every time i go it keeps getting slower and slower which is fine um but i just think it's interesting so baby's heartbeat um was doing good and yeah so my doctor didn't have much to say and i think um from now on when I go to my doctor's appointments, they're going to start measuring um, my tummy with the measuring tape just to see what my fundal, I think that's what it's called, height is. Um, just to start measuring to make sure baby's measuring on track. So that's different. And then I think not next time, but my doctor's appointment after that, I'll do the glucose test. 
Um, so that'll be interesting for me to uh, tell you guys what the taste was and if I liked it or not and you know if I have gestational diabetes. I don't think I do. I'm pretty um, little. I'm struggling gaining weight but it could happen so um, definitely stay tuned to see you know the results of that. Again, the doctor's appointment went great. It went better than expected. It was a long doctor's appointment, longer than my first one even, but totally worth it to just sit there and watch baby on the scan for about a half hour. I just loved it. So it was great and so much fun. If you can see in the back, um, I have put up my Christmas tree. It's not yet Thanksgiving, um, but it's like that the same week. So I figured it was good. It would be okay. Um, we're going back to Northwest Ohio um, to see family. So so we wouldn't be able to put up the tree until later anyway so I just went ahead and did it before so I think it looks really nice and it's a good backdrop for me so let me show you my 20 week um, bump um, and then I can also show you so I do have maternity jeans on it's gonna be a little difficult <laughs> um, but yes I do have my maternity jeans on it has this band that covers my belly um, I like it quite a bit. It's really nice. Here, I'll just put you guys right here. Um, and so, yeah, it's really nice. It's so much stretchier. So here is um, with the thing on, but I'll take it off so you guys can see. I'm sorry if this is a little hard to see. I know the light's behind me. Um, but here um, is my 20-week um, bump. So here it is from the side. Um, here it is from the front. And then here it is from the other side. Um, so I definitely think that I have a bump. Um, it's pretty big. I'm going to see if I can...